check, 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 check. Man, I say me sweet, like a me do trick or treat. Me tell him to take a taste, him say me a rotten teeth. Chew me little, chew me neat. Me not in a nothing cheap. Walk in a brand new Louis V for me fit. Thing ya me love, them thing ya me love. Can't say me never tell ya. Me a money me love, got cheese, got cheddar. Thing ya me love. Now I no money chop and I'm missing like a cellulite. I mean I'm got so I made them wanna be like them me love. Them thing ya me love. Fresh like a river to cross in a chest Me a walk with the chapel Yeah, me no green like me a granny smith apple uh, Them see me from afar like me knuckle Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel Guys, it's been a while My voice is gone But anyways, let me just jump right into the tutorial So I already did my brows off camera And I'm about to, you know, warm up my crease Using that, you know, kind of pinkish eyeshadow to as my transition color guys this video should have been uploaded like from last week um monday because last week sunday was my birthday which was the 23rd of february but because i have <clears throat> i have um a date in my family you know so it kind of pushed me you know back because i was mourning guys and my voice is not fully intact or in motion right now because you know i was crying and plus the flu so you know my voice is just coming along so i decided to do the voice over today because i didn't have any voice at all but guys i'm back with you guys and i'm doing a full glam full glam birthday makeup tutorial look so just stay tuned guys so i did just a basic transition you know um eyeshadow look i know i'm going in with that it's like a rose gold um metallic eyeshadow so i'm just using it to cut my crease i'm not really cutting my crease like using a concealer i'm just using the eyeshadow to do so and it's the eyeshadow guys why am i looking at yeah, and it's pretty pigmented and I'm using the the, the eyeshadow brush that I'm using I think it's the Urban Decay Naked 7 yeah eyeshadow brush that I'm using and it's doing the the work pretty well I always enjoy using this brush because it does the work to be honest so as I said, I was mourning the last of my cousin. I'm still mourning, guys. It's a lot going on, you know, because like a year and a half now, I have like, I had like five deaths in my family, and we haven't, you know, we haven't um, got over those. And then, you know, one more, and she's just 26 years old, like myself. So it's a lot, you know, and also right now, so. I won't be uploading frequently and so forth because trust me it's just because this was like bothering me why I just have to put this video up and I'm now going in with that fluffy blending brush and I'm just kind of blending out the edges so everything looks even and you know intact that's the LA girl primer and I'm just using it to prime my face as you guys know this routine so here I'm just, you know, smooth it all over my face. So for the foundation to come, and I'm using the Fit Me Foundation, the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation, and it's in the shade it's 230 Natural Buff, and that's the color character in LA Girl. And I'm just adding it because I have some like some dark spots. I don't know where these spots come from so i'm just using it so you know i can have like a full flawless coverage and i'm using a regular drugstore flat top brush to blend out my foundation along with the color correct or color correct whatever so yeah that's what i'm doing and you can see that it is blending out pretty well 
and everything looks seamless i love it so guys how have you all been i hope you guys miss me because i miss y'all but it's a lot on me right now it's a lot it's a lot honestly and i'm just coming out like you know it's my birthday so it's my birthday look so you know i have to come come out in full force you know and i'm so proud of me like each time i do my makeup i'm getting better and better at it honestly so anyways i'm just drying down some of the whatever I left on the brush down to my neck so everything can look you know looks like one so my neck does look darker than my face and so forth and i'm using a gold glitter and i'm just placing it above the um the eyeshadow pigmented eyeshadow so it looked like you know a cut crease but like i said i did not cut my crease i just used the the eyeshadow to do so and it's very metallic it's very pigmented i love it love it love it guys do you love my nails i really love my nails like my nail tape never ever failed you know i pleasing me with my nails to be honest like and they last very long very long like it's worth the money <sighs> my voice like i need you to come back <laughs> Anyways, that is the LA Girl Concealer in Pure Beige. So you guys know that I'm moving on to highlight and I'm contouring. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I'm highlighting, you know, under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my chin, my cupid's bow, and my forehead, of course. And I love, 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 like, this is like the last. I love this concealer. It just blend out. Oh my God, LA Girl, LA Girl Concealer, they are bomb, trust me. Like, they are everything. They are concealers, because I can talk about their concealer. They are setting spray, they are um, setting powder. They are bomb, like, trust me, they do the work. So anyways, I'm just blending out my concealer and I'm using, I think it's the Kylie sponge that I'm using to blend out my concealer and everything is blending evenly and smoothly. Like I love the coverage of the LA Girl concealer. They do the work. Believe me, guys. And oh, by the way, I was the one who installed my lace wig. Yes, I can do one and two thing. I don't always run to hairdresser to do, you know, to do my hair. Depends on what I want to do to my hair. That is the LA Girl setting powder. And it's like, this is the last. Like, it actually, as you guys know that, you know all my videos it probably like maybe like one video you know where i was using the benai powder but every one of my videos you know you guys know that it is the la girl setting powder that i use to do so i love it it does not take long to you know to blend out or anything like that you know as you know why it's a brush away it just it, it sits well on the face to be honest anyways that's the black opal um, foundation in nutmeg no it's in beautiful brands it is way darker than my natural skin skin tone so I normally use it 
to contour and that's what I'm doing guys okay so I place it wherever you know need to to be contoured and yes I'm just using a contour brush I think this is coming you guys I don't know if you remember when I was showing you guys that I buy some new stuff you know I was showing you the new brushes that I bought so I think it's some I need a nine something like that. I know it's nine brushes in set I don't remember the name okay this is a brush from that set and I'm using it to blend out my contour. Yes, Danish, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. And um <clears throat> I'm loving how everything is going well. Honestly, I just love how everything is going. So I'm using the remainder of the powder and the sponge, you know, kind of drying it down my jawline, you know, so I can have this sharp highlight and contour going on, you know, so my cheekbones can look flawless, you know, all, yeah, you guys get the dress, you guys get the dress, okay? And I'm using that bff palette <laughs> you guys know it so i'm just using my contour shade going over the cream contour yes. so i don't have any cakey look going on on my skin yep and i'm adding some to my nose so that i'm not going back with that color and it's the Santi, it's a Santi eyeshadow palette, yes. So I'm just placing it under my waterline, not on my waterline, under my waterline, below my waterline, rather. And it has pretty pigment. It's showing. is cracking me up like <laughs> oh my god oh and I'm using a smudge brush it's the LA girl smudge brush that I'm using like just my LA girl has some really beautiful products their stuff trust me they're really good so I'm now adding my nano cocoa eyeliner block um you know i'm just adding to my waterline because i want my eyes to stand out i don't want it too fancy but i at the end of the you know i still want it to look you know pretty um what am i saying Jeez. anyways i'm adding lashes no guys and you guys know this lashes the cat eye and so 3D Ketayan lashes that I am using. I love it. This is probably like my fifth time. Differently from even when I'm going out. Otherwise, different from video when I'm, you know, wearing these lashes. So it's, I, I've worn these lashes pretty, pretty much every time I'm going out. Because, you know, as long as you carry your lashes, you know, you clean them off whenever you get home. Or even if you don't happen to clean it up at that same time you know like probably like in the morning or so so you know once you take care of them you can have like long long wear you know with your lashes so i always try to take care of them save me money in my pocket and all that so yes guys i did my lashes for the camera so i'm just using the tweezer to kind of you know, squeeze everything together, my natural lashes, along with the falsies. Yes, so, you know, everything look blended together and all that. I'm just kind of playing it with it so, you know, to ensure that it's hold and all that. Now, I'm just brushing away the powder that I used to set my face. And I'm just kind of, you know, 
using a little force below my cheekbones, you know, because sometimes the spot has seen pretty stubborn, you know, down there, and I don't want any harshness going on. So, yes. Yes, guys. How many times I'm going to say that? I'm moving on to blush now, and people, you know this blush palette. So I'm using that kind. It's like a dark purple, bro. I don't know, but yeah, that's what I'm using as my blush for my blush. Thank you. So I'm moving on to spray my face, and I'm using the LA. No, it is the Usher setting spray that I'm using. Yes. And everything looks so flawless. Like, girl, you, man, you came out. Like, I love it. So, I need to highlight and use the Just Pro, Just Color Pro Glow, yeah. I'm using that little fun brush to add the highlighter to my cheekbones. The highest point of my cheeks, of course. My cheekbones, of course. My, um, I'm adding some highlight to my nose. Yes, a little bit there, my forehead. Yeah, look at there. So, and I like, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. So, I'm using this neon. Um, it's, it's some neon colors that I'm using. And I'm using, it's like a lime green and it's like yellow. So, I'm just adding it to my tear duct area or my inner corner, whatever. Yes, and it's pretty pigmented. Like, I can't wait to you like I've been searching for these neon colors like forever and I finally you know got it to purchase and I'm so happy so um that is the LA girl um matte lipstick in I think flat velvet yes love it. it's like a little baby pinkish yeah and the NYX butter lip gloss to top it off. I'm not lining my lips because I just love how everything looks. So I'm not worrying to line my lips. Yes. I'm loving the look. And I hope you guys love it just as much. I'm moving on to, you know, adding some mascara to my bottom lashes. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yes. I'm loving this glam. Finished look, guys. I hope you guys like it. So if you guys enjoy watching this look, please remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell somebody. Okay? I love you. Love you guys. Bye. Ah.